In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good people, I'm sure you are well. It is Saturday, the 12th day, the 12th day of June in the year of our Lord and Savior 2021. Today we are on the 15th day, the 15th day in our 40 days novena for family deliverance. Today, it is the first day for all those who are actually late. Yesterday, the bell was rung. And we said after ringing the bell, anybody who starts after the bell is rung is automatically late. So if you are joining us today, my dear brother, my dear sister, you are you are going to start on day one. That means you will finish um, 15 days after we have been able to finish uh, the rest of us. Whatever the case, we are in it. We, we are giving the devotions on sexual sins. And uh, today we are finishing or concluding on what it is that we need to break away from sexual sin because it is important that we break away from this sexual sin. We went through the triggers that was on Thursday. Remember we jumped on Friday because Friday we gave a special, uh, yesterday, yesterday we did a special uh, reflection because yesterday was my priestly anniversary and I we did share a short uh, reflection or de uh, devotion on being a priest. And therefore, I'm so happy. Allow me to thank all of you who sent me messages of thanks, messages of encouragement, messages of congratulations on my priestly anniversary. I also want to thank those of you who sent me gifts, gifts, Today I'm receiving the gift from my producers, so please pray for them that uh, they don't just look at me and smile. A smile is not a gift enough. <laughs> so, so if you did not send your gift yesterday, send your gift today. You'll be joined by my producers who pretended that I did not have an anniversary. May God see them. So, so thank you. Thank you for your prayers. And please continue praying for me uh, so that I can continue serving you uh, all the days that the Lord will give me to live in this world. We pick up from where we were on Thursday. Number six, it is serving others. Serving others. In Isaiah chapter 58, God asks his people to reach out to other people. The poor, the afflicted, the heavily yoked, heavily yoked. Now, as his people make their lives act of living worship, God says that their healing shall spring up speedily. One way to overcome any struggle with sin or dealing with the painful consequences of sin is to place our focus on others. Remember, as we said, I think on Wednesday, sex, one way of to perpetuate sex, sexual sin is when we, we have what we call the um, undistracted attention to ourselves. It's like that we are pathologically preoccupied. In fact, that would be the, last, the, the, the right terminology. To be pathologically, pathologically, to be pathologically occupied with ourselves. So the moment we move from ourselves to others, then remember to others we are able to be challenged, we learn lessons, some of them motivate us, and we are able, as it were, to overcome a number of issues that we may be going through. Number seven. Now, this is my best. Develop a personal battle plan for purity. 
develop a personal battle plan for purity. Each one of us is called to live a life of purity. The question is whether we are determined enough. So if you are still struggling with the sexual sin, what is your battle plan? Please tell me. And if you are stuck and you don't know how to get, to get your, yourself a battle plan, please talk to me. Please do. I will guide you. But I need to ask you this gracious and great Saturday. What is your battle plan? The moment you understand and you have one, my brother, my sister, you are okay. Number eight, another strong one. Listening to sermons from men and the women of God who gives us directions without judging us, without condemning us. There are so many, so many men and women of God, ordained and otherwise, who are actually out there and giving us very strong sermons and materials that we can reflect on. There are those that are already online, you can get them. There are so many books written on this. It is important. Uh, you, you can be able to read all those. Uh, I gave you a book the other day. I'll be proposing many others later. But please read and listen to sermons. Number nine, uh, of course, it is about reading. Reading. Um, and I want to, to propose a few books here. Maybe, maybe, let me first propose only two, two books from the other one. I also ask, I also request my producer to be able to put this book on the screen so that you can be able to get it. The first book I would want you to read, amongst many other materials, there are so much materials that you can read, but I want to suggest two books that are connected with this topic. The title of the first book is Undefiled, Undefiled, Redemption from Sexual Sin, Restoration for Broken Relationships. Undefiled, Redemption from Sexual Sin, Restoration for Broken Relationships. Now, this book is authored by Dr. Harry W. Skubag. Skubag. Dr. Harry W. Skubag. Uh, that is um, Undefiled, Redemption from Sexual Sin, Restoration for Broken Relationships. The other book is eh, Future Grace, Future Grace, Revised Edition, The Purifying Power of the Promises of God. Future Grace, Revised Edition, The Purifying Power of the Promises of God. The author of this book is John Piper. And the third book, that you can read amongst many other materials is The Enemy Within. The Enemy Within. Straight talk about the power and defeat of sin. The Enemy Within. Straight talk about the power and defeat of sin. This book is authored by Chris, Chris Ludgard, Ludgard. Chris is K R R K R I S K R I S. Ludgard is L U N D G W A R D. Chris Ludgard. Number ten. Take. Practical steps. You see, Father CK always tells us, if nothing is done, nothing happens. If something is done, something happens. It means we get to act. We got to act. Do something. 
Do something about your situation. Even if you'll start by asking for direction, you won't get lost. Number 11, free. Free from temptation. Other times, you go to just run away. Just run. Run for your dear life. I remember we had one spiritual a teacher. Uh, he is now rested. And he used to talk about how to run away from uh, situ uh, um, uh, situations of sin. And that is, is very, very important. Sometimes we, we blame, sometimes we blame others, Satan and everything else, but we had, we had the capacity to, to, to uh, excuse ourselves, as it were. Please read Proverbs 5, verses 1 to 3, and Proverbs 5, verse 22. Proverbs 5, verses 1 to 3, and Proverb, Proverbs 5, verse 22. Number 12, consider the future. Consider the future. Please read Proverbs 5, 11. Proverbs 5, 8 to 10. And Proverbs 5, 12 to 13. Consider the future. Number 13, for those of you who are married, uphold your marriage. Uphold your marriage. Value your marriage. Please do. This becomes the most important way to guard yourself from falling into sexual sin. And finally, number 14. Finally, number 14, remember God is watching. I want to read for you Proverbs 5.21. A man's ways are before the eyes of the Lord, and he ponders all his paths. You may hide away from all the people. God is watching. You may be hiding from your wife. God is watching. You may be hiding from your husband. God is watching. For men and women religious, you may be hiding from your superiors and hiding from the community. But remember, God is watching. God is watching. God is watching. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Saturday. Tomorrow it is Sunday. And when it is Sunday, it is Sunday. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Saturday. Thank you. Thank you again.